Hello guys, here is a, a 9 bot G30D controller and uh, uh, some people are having problem when flashing them uh, and get locked out, locked out uh, of their scooters and uh, the guidance that are out there right now uh, show the old controller the G30 not the old the, the other one so I don't really know if uh, uh, G30D is just a European version or you have it in US too but what they have done is they have removed the, the three connectors that supposed to be here so you can flash your um, controller and um, when you flash this controller you get locked out and uh, one of my customers had the arrow 10 this controller especially uh, um, when you turn the scooter on it just turn off and this is just after trying to fix the custom firmware that customer had tried to do so uh, I will show because what they have done, they have just moved the ports to the back side of this controller. And I can't find any video showing this. So maybe I'm the first one. I found a, I think, German site, some pictures on it. And then I try it out and uh, managed to fix the first controller. And now I can um, upload custom firmware to it and it working and I will go through all the steps so these controllers have a silicon mass so what you are mm, what you have to do is to cut uh, all the sides and uh, be really gently when you cutting the sides because it's so easy to cut something else and the first thing you need to do is unscrew these three screws and then open the mask and I will go through the whole process. Okay, uh, now as you see, I have used the blade and just to cut through. And uh, you have to be really caref careful not to damage the board and uh, all the components as you see I'm taking out this part because it's it's locking it a bit there you go and uh, what we have to do after this is try to push it push it up and this if you don't manage to push it up then you have to um, get rid of more silicon on the sides and then you can see if this part is moving you see that it's moving a little bit but I have to take off more of the silicon I will be back and I have unscrewed this part okay um, now as you see I have take off more silicon from the sides and I can see that the controller are moving a bit and this part is a little bit tricky because the controller is uh, silicon into the bottom so what you have to do is try to open it up without breaking the board and as you see it's moving up gently and carefully and as you saw if I wiggle this right out this will damage so you have to lift it up there we go so we have managed to lift up the controller 
And now <clears throat> we want to find the port on the behind and it's supposed to be located somewhere here to the ST-Link. So how do we connect the ST-Link to, to this controller? So we have the 5 volt here. The first one is GND. This second uh, one is Sui Clock. And the third one is Sui Dio. So this is how I prepare the solid aim job. So I have used some flux on the surface on the three pins and the four five volt connector. And what I do is I heat it up a little bit. And uh, put some solid in. On it so it will be easier to connect the ST link to it so as you see then we start with the GND connector and what I'm doing is taking the there we go Second one is the Swed clock Mine is blue after I have flashing the nine bot ES models. There we go. And the last three do dio. There we go. And then the five five volt connector. There you go. Okay. Now it's done. Let's go and program it. In this part, I just connect the ST link to a USB connector on my computer. Uh, I connect. Uh, cannot read memory loss. That's that's no problem. Then I press Control B and disable the read output protection. Control P. Control P and uh, find the dump file for this controller. ESC uh, one two six full dump and uh, start programming. I will leave the link in the description for the dump file. I guess if you're doing this, you have the ST link utility. So now it's done. I disconnect. Disconnect the uh, ST link. Uh, take off the ST link connections. There we go. Uh, 
There you go. And now the controller is with a new firmware and I will connect it to the scooter. Okay, now everything is connected back and before I start the scooter and it's just turned off. Now when I start it, I get an error 27 and I need to up, um, change the default serial number so it can uh, so it disappear and uh, I do it by updating the firmware and then flash it through a nine bot flasher. So just to show the process, we have the nine bot flasher here. We turn it on, turn the scooter on. There you go. I connect to the scooter. You have to press the button on the scooter to pair it. Now what I'm doing is con pressing Control Alt A, and then I get this additional um, additional menu. I pick the serial number, write serial number. You see that it's already written. Check the serial number. You can do it twice just to check, see that it worked. And uh, after this, you go in your mobile phone and uh, do this. So, you go in Exio Flasher and connect to your GMAX. You see the serial number. Here I have made a custom firmware. Link will be in the description below. To 45. You choose it. Press flash selected file. It will start the process. The scooter will disconnect. You press the connect button again. It's connected. Pick change region to US and uh, now when you're trying your scooter it will go Thir 31 kilometers an hour so what I have done now is I have uh, Change the serial number to N4GSD1111C and then a number whichever you want. After that, I uploaded custom firmware with 45 motor power constant and uh, 45,000 and uh, 45 kilometers an hour. And then I changed the region to US. After doing these three steps together, I managed to get up to, uh, as you see, 31 kilometers per hour on the sport mode. And this is how you flash uh, your 9-bot G30D scooter.